guys and welcome to another video of Game Linux where today I'll be showing you a game called Gun. This what? game is well at the time was basically like a GTA version of a Western game. And because once you get into the game you are able to basically run around at your own free will, free roam and stuff. And basically have a lot of fun and the game's really good. But on the first note, I'd like to say I'm sorry if the sound is out of sync at some points. I tried to fix that by edi editing the video, but for some reason it was really badly out of sync when I uh, first recorded it, so I tried to change it, so hopefully it works. But yeah, recently, if people have been keeping an eye on gaming, then you would have realised that Rockstar have released a game called Red Dead Redemption. And this is sort of what the game gun is like. A really old version of Red Dead Redemption, apart from the less coolness. Since Red Dead is obviously newer and, well, a lot newer to be honest. And so it will have a lot more technology behind it and have a lot better graphics. But gun for the time has good graphics and it's got really good gameplay. And it runs perfect in Linux. Uh, it installs fine. The game goes on perfectly, it runs fine, there's no problems at all. Apart actually saying that, you uh, through your reg edit, which you will type in through your terminal, you'll have to turn mouse warp overrides to force, otherwise the, the mouse is like twitchy and laggy and horrible and it's really difficult to control. Whereas if you put mouse warp override on force, it, it smooths out the shooting and stuff and it makes it a lot easier for yourself so make sure you do that so other than that the game runs perfectly runs smoothly full detail it sh and it should do really because it's not a big game to actually be able to run it's nice and easy to run so yeah so if you actually plan on getting this game and you got Linux then it's a definite one which will run perfectly in Linux. So throughout the game you basically get simple missions which at one point you can go to at your own will and it will be easier because during one point of the game you also get a horse which which makes it nice and easy to travel around on and get to missions easier. And you meet many people and you buy your own guns and throughout missions you gain money and game. I'm not too sure about friends, but you know, you get a good story behind it as well. Uh, the game is very fun to play. Generally, it's, it's good fun. And if you like western games, then this is definitely a good thing. And it's. It's got a cool feature where uh, I forgot what it's called, but you like slow down time and it's nice and easy to oh uh, draw back or something like that. It's nice and easy you'd, to shoot your enemies. You just like you press your left and right button and it switches between targets and you shoot them easily. And it tends to kill them easily as well. And it's good fun to see you. You would have seen it at the start of the video if you you would have been watching. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice and easy to get a grip onto the game, and you unlock more weapons throughout the game as well. And it's just good fun to play, so I, I definitely recommend it. It's good fun, really good fun.
<laughs> sure took your sweet time. I was just admiring your rifle. <clears throat> Another tick or two and you'd be putting me to bed with a pick and shovel. You're too damn ornery to die. Well, it prides me to see it's rubbed off on you plenty. Always remember, son, in this world, pure cussedness will carry you farther than the Comanche's pony. Ah, uh, here's our payday. Okay, so I hope my video helped you out in some form of way, which, well, it wouldn't have done a lot since the only help you require is Marshall Bow Ride equals force. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for watching it. I hope you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.